Look, I know what you're saying. PowerShell on a Mac? No way. Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to install PowerShell Core on a Mac OS. First thing we need to do is install a package manager. Mac OS, unfortunately, doesn't come with its own package manager. And we're going to install the most popular one, Homebrew. It will add not only a package manager, but a lot of features and Unix type utilities that Apple seemed to have missed. So in order to do that, we'll type in the curl command, pull it down from the GitHub, go ahead and press return, enter my password. Now this will take a few minutes and I'll see you at the, when it's complete. Okay, we've got the, the base installation complete. We're going to add another utility called CAS. And what this does, it adds some speed to Homebrew and allows you to download the larger packages, either from Apple or some other open source resource. So in order to install CAS, we type in the brew command. And we'll get that utility installed. This will take a few minutes and I'll see you on the other side. Now that Cask is installed, we are set to install PowerShell. And to do that, we just type in brew cask install PowerShell. As simple as that. We'll check the dependencies and get it installed. This should only take a few minutes to install. Enter my password. I do need super user permission to do this. And there you go. PowerShell has successfully been installed. In order to check the version, we go ahead and start by entering PWSH. And now we have PowerShell running. And now we can check the version. As you can see, we now have PowerShell version 6.1 core installed on Darwin 16.7. Thanks for watching.